Welcome to Animatology Practical Lecture. This time we are looking at morphological identification of root knot nematode juvenile using a microscope. The objective of this practical is to identify the root knot nematode juvenile based on morphological features and thus be able to differentiate it from the juvenile of the cyst nematode. Some of these features include its appearance. The juvenile is vermiform with no defined reproductive structures. It also has a weakly stretchized labial region. The stylet is slender and weakly skeletalized with small basal knobs when compared to the juvenile of cyst nematode. The juvenile also has an elongated tail with a short clear region called the hyaline region. This region covers around a third of the tail from its tip. After this brief recap, let's start with our practical exercise. Let us start by putting our specimen in the focus. Right now what we are seeing is the rabio region of our nematode. This rabio region is weakly skeletalized. In the same focus, we also have the stylate of this nematode this stylet is slender and weakly skeletalized. Within the same field, we also see the stylet knobs of this nematode, which are smaller when compared to those of the cyst nematode juvenile. When we move posteriorly, we also see other structures such as the median bulb, the interpharyngeal region, and secretory excretory power. From around the mid-body up the start of the tail, we see that this region is covered by the intestines with no defined reproductive structures. As we come to the posterior end, we come across the tail of this nematode. This tail is elongated with a short hyaline region. As you can see, the hyaline region takes up about a third of the tail from its tip. From this practical exercise, we have seen the different diagnostic features for root node nematode juvenile, thus enabling us to differentiate it from the cyst nematode juvenile. Thank you all for watching and please check our YouTube channel for more videos of other nematodes.